Hello, Internet! We're back! Welcome to G Game Nights, uh, another night uh, edition of Tabletop Tuesdays, the Burbs edition. Burb, 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 burbs! Uh, I hate myself for making that a thing. <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna roll with it. Welcome to the channel, as you just watched in our intro video. We've got a lot of stuff going on, all sorts of games and happenings. Best way to find out what we're doing when is to check our schedule beneath our faces here on Twitch or follow us on our various socials. Twitter, come join our Discord, that's where we post about what we're doing and when. Um, this week we've got, you know, the burbs happening, and then Thursday will be Wild Space, our d, &D 5e space adventure, which is drawing to its conclusion. Uh, so be there for that as we... Oh, God, we still need to decide if we're just going to jump to power level 20 for the last few sessions. Um, so... Yeah, lots of shenanigans afoot there as we try and save the universe from uh, ancient tentacle gods. Which, maybe, I mean, we don't know yet enough about this game. Maybe it's not too dissimilar from our ultimate goal here. We'll find out. Um, and then Friday, Neon Souls. Saturday will be Saturday Night's uh, Star Power, which is also nearing its season finale. And I think Neon Souls yeah, is also as well. Yeah, season finale tonight. Yeah, and then... And then Sunday Slam 101, also nearing season finale. We're just having a whole bunch of... No, no more season. We're done. We're oh. done with slaying. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're, we're going to be playing a different system this time that takes place um, not here. It starts with a V. Okay. Well, you'll have to tune in to find out more about that. Uh, yes. I'm not sure if LB's just Bassin. being cryptic or is forgetting. <laughs> it's called Bassin. Okay. Well, you'll have to tune in for that, and as I said, we'll tweet about it and all the stuff that we are up to. Um, let's see, before we introduce ourselves this evening, just want to point out that we do have some merch available. Link for that is in the chat and beneath our faces. We've got mugs, we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got phone cases. Um, I know summer's coming, but I've heard the hoodies are very soft, very comfy. Uh, but we also have tank tops, again, for the aforementioned summer heat upcoming, if you want some of those. Um, I think that more or less covers our announcements for tonight, so let's go around and introduce ourselves. Uh, let's start with our wonderful keeper, David. Hey, yeah, uh, David, you can find me here on Tuesday nights. And yeah, I am the keeper, or the GM of this game. And yeah, glad you're here with us. All right, LB. Hi, I'm LB Hackamup, and I'm playing Clara. She is a, a, a teacher, and I got a cat just yelling at my door. Uh, she's the smart one. She's the researcher. Yeah. Yeah. And I am Alex. I am playing James this evening. He is the himbo. Um, you know, we're... Uh, that is the uh, dynamic we have gone with. It's worked out pretty well so far. Um, I guess one other quick announcement before I forget. Uh, next Tuesday, when we would normally have our masks game, probably not going to happen because of people's schedules. We've got a player or two out of town. We may come up with something else to do or we may take the night off. But the best way to know what we decide is, you know, follow our socials so you can know when we announce it. I think that's everything so i'll turn things over to david for the recap all right so yeah last time um you had start we'd started off with your plan to try and disrupt further disrupt the uh the miller's uh devious plans in the basement you decided to blow up their uh their uh, generator down there and see if maybe maybe that would put an end to their shenanigans. Um, to do this, you decided you'd wait till Mr. Miller was, at, or Dr. Miller was at work. Sorry, he's got the PhD. But, uh, <laughs> uh, and you would invite his wife, Samantha, over, uh, or uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Clara would invite her over for drinks. And James would sneak over and sabotage the generator so that when it turned on, it'd blow up. Um, it seemed to work 
pretty well. James got the sabotage off, uh, was doing his, his whole thing. Uh, Clara was able to keep Samantha distracted for a while, but not before kind of letting slip a little too much of what they may uh, know. And Samantha locked the door and kind of started doing some, some gnarly magic. Uh, James, hearing some, uh, some screams, decided to uh, just go ahead and blow up the house then. Uh, dived out the window, cut himself up a bit, came over just in time to see Clara launched into space with a nail and was uh, kind of shortly after that killed himself. Um, they, you know, didn't react too well to, uh, to coming back, having just been killed by Samantha, slamming the door in her face. Clara disappeared for five hours, believing herself to be a god and crazy preaching from the streets. And, uh, yeah, uh, was last time when the yeah yeah last time was when i you decided to to keep uh carol occupied uh that night james yes in in a hope to keep her from drawing too much attention to herself and once again being a a victim of of the millers um while you were successful in keeping her occupied, it seems you were not successful in keeping the Miller's attention away from her as this time there was a deviation in things and that when uh, Matt Miller was going around introducing himself to the neighborhood, he apparently just took Carol uh, Brown out right then. Uh, you heard uh, some muffled screaming, went over to investigate, you found some, uh, you found her back door, her window to her back door shattered and some blood kind of on the fence and uh, around in the house. You went inside and called the police and I believe we picked up there. Did I miss? I'm sure there was more investigating that you did, but I do not recall the exactly. The library um, did some stuff there. Dr. Miller found us at the library, uh, talked about how we, uh, in this in this timeline, when we met, his wife just screamed in her face and shoved her out the door. Um, and this is still the timeline where Clara smacked him in the yeah. face, so. So apparently if we want to fully reset things, we need to make sure the doctor kills us. Mm -hmm. And to answer the question in chat, our characters uh, live with each other. Uh, completely platonic, not at all unrequited uh, affection roommates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apparently not. It was to save her life, and apparently that failed. <laughs> Alright. Um... So yeah, alright. So I th <laughs> we'll pick up there. Uh, the Police, uh, kind of the nine one one operator keeps you on the phone, uh, talking while police show up. Uh, Clara, you see the, uh, you see, you know the, the red and blue. You see and hear them as they are. There's, you know, a potential murder here. They're not just strolling on in. They, they came in in force. You see some cops kind of running around. Um, Did I know what happened or? Do I know that she's been hurt? So I see just a bunch of cops pull up, and I think that Clara immediately goes. Because that's where James went. So she'll run over to the house and see what she can see. Um, all right. I, there's, a, there's a few cop cars getting here, like, kind of around the same time, and and a, a few kind of run over to the house and several people kind of start keeping neighbors away as yeah. there's more than a few curious uh, onlookers here uh, on the neighborhood. Not, not a lot because it's, you know, midday, uh, a weekday. So, you know, people got jobs and stuff, but it's 1980. There's, there's more housewives 
than than there are now. Uh, so, so yeah, there's there's a few folks, a few retired folks and stuff like that too, and a few kids because it's the summer. So, uh, uh, yeah, there's there's beginning to be a bit of a crowd gathering as they're uh, not necessarily right outside the house, but kind of you know across the street and nearby on the sidewalks and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, James, like you basically, you know, get told to let the the cops in, um, and, and a few kind of come running in and do a quick search of the house and, and then, uh, kind of seeing what's going on. They, you see a few kind of take off down the alley to kind of look for her and then they're kind of ask you to to leave the house until it can be processed. James is fully cooperative, uh, doing what they say. Uh, and I think, you know, as soon as he steps outside, probably sees Claire among the onlookers there, I'm assuming. Yes, mm-hmm. looking very concerned. Yeah, and so, you know, we'll make his way over and, uh, well, uh, Hi. You're not dead. No, not not me. Um, maybe Carol is. There's a lot of blood, and but they haven't found a body yet. Uh, did we do this? <laughs> she says, and then like just looks around, like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. Um, I. Do they need to talk to you? Sure they will eventually. Um, they didn't, you know, ask me to go outside so they can canvas the scene or whatever, but I mean, should probably stick around just in case. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you... She'll kind of like look around. Do, do you think she's going to come back like us? Doesn't seem like it has the other times, but there's just so so much we don't know about this specifically and this in general. So I wish I knew. What should we do now? This is probably going to be my whole day. If you want me to yeah. go back to the library and see if you can find anything more, maybe? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I can talk to one of the professors. See if we have someone who would know anything about this. That would be and that helpful. way nobody can walk in on me. Yeah, that would that would be good. Okay. Are you okay? I mean it's uh a little shaken up, but um nothing compared to the shit we've seen lately. <laughs> that's uh wow, that's that's the quite a thought, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's been a hell of a week. And it has. Okay. Well, just, um, I'll see you at the house then. Yep. Clara will go back and uh, think about what people she could talk to about the conundrum that they're in. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, James, the police kind of keep you for a while and not a lot of people are talking to you. Uh, someone kind of takes an initial statement. And uh, maybe like five minutes later, uh, uh, 
to oh here a bit like this everyone this we get in the roll 20 we have a new character mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, this man approaches you a detective, apparently, if you would like to describe him. All right. Um, well, let's see. He is black man, short, curly hair, beard. I mean, it's not too dissimilar from uh, my appearance. Um, it's got just very gray suit. Uh, even his button-down shirt underneath is gray, um, but also the top of it is slightly unbuttoned, as is the fashion of the 80s. Um, yeah, I think that's about... Those are the most important bits. Okay. And yeah, he, he approaches you and he... He, you know, goes to shake your hand and says, I'm Detective uh, Kevin Gardner. James McCoy, good to meet you. All right, James. Um, so how about you just walk me through what happened here? Yeah. Um, so I knew, well, I, uh, I'm taking a second to remember what led uh, James to go to check out Carol's the next day. Oh, uh, uh, like it was. We heard the faintest whiff of a scream. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I was just. I, it's going to come out eventually. I was here last evening spending time with Miss Brown, with Carol. Stayed for breakfast. Then I went back over to my residence, pointing at a uh, at the at the house, um, and was just doing some work out front. Um, I mean, you can still see the ladder there. When I thought I heard a scream, and so I came back over to check things out. There was no answer. I went around the back, and that's when I saw all that. I went inside, and I called the cops. Okay. Um, so you said you were in a relationship with relationship might uh, be uh, Miss Brown a bit um, a bit much. Um, this was the um, last night was the first time that we uh, were together. Okay, and you left at what time this morning? Just after breakfast whenever that actually happened. I don't think we set a time. Yeah, yeah. But you ate breakfast there, so. Yep. All right. Uh, left just after breakfast. He's He's got his, his uh, Columbo notebook out, and he's taking notes. And it's all right, man. Uh, let's see. You, this... Not in character. This would have been like just a couple hours later that you've now called the cops, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, did you do you know if she had any plans today? You didn't mention anything with me. Um, now I'm trying to decide is James just going to immediately set them on the Millers? Um, so let's see. In this timeline, yeah, Matt Jr. We're super came over. In this timeline already. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, Matt Jr. came over to our place with the cookies, um, and then we know that he went. We do know he went around the neighborhood greeting people. So I mean, it's uh, yeah. So I think James says, you know, "I d don't know specific plans," and the only person I can think of who might have gone to see her is uh, Matt Jr., um, Matt Miller Jr. The, the Millers just moved in. They've been going around making introductions to the neighborhood. 
So, I mean, he might have seen something, um, because he came over to our place and then started making the rounds. Okay. And he has you point out their house. Mm -hmm. All right. So, to your knowledge, you think that would be the last person that saw Carol? As far as I know. I mean, unless she has other gentleman callers I'm unaware of. All right. How would you feel if she did have other gentleman callers? No, she's her own woman. It's uh, up to her who she spends her time with. All right. And if this had already happened when Matt was went by earlier, you would be the last person to have seen Carol? I guess that's what the timeline would be, yeah. Um, All right. I'm trying to think. I don't think we specifically said that we watched or saw Matt go into Carol's in this timeline. Um, no, he was just kind of over there in that general area, and then you heard the scream, and the door was already shut. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah. I don't know for certain that he saw her, but I know you know. I'm sure you can find him and ask him. Okay. I will do that. Uh, we're going to have some guys take your fingerprints and uh, you know, you're going to have to answer a few questions and know your blood type, things like that. Okay. Sure. And uh, he gives you his card because if you think of anything else, let me know. And these guys are going to get your information and stuff. And he kind of points over to your house and he said, you live over there. Yes, yeah. I uh, rent a room from the, the building's owner. And uh, who's that? Uh, Clara Kriegerton. Uh, okay, she's, what's uh, your relationship to Clara? I mean, a uh, friend. Um, you know, I rent, I do some, I do the maintenance work. I'm a bit of a handyman. Uh yeah, I mean, she's a professor over at the college, and, um, yeah, it's, I live with her, and we seem to be friends. All right, and she would say the same thing? I would hope so. Okay. All right. Um, well, thank you for your help. Uh, I'll be in contact soon. And he kind of goes off and goes into the house. Uh, they kept you kind of waiting around. You, um, yeah, they, they kind of keep you there for probably about another hour or so as, as people, uh, various people come up and, and talk to you and you fill stuff out. And they finally get someone over there who can get uh, some fingerprints from you and whatnot. And... And yeah, so Clara, then you're heading over to the uh, campus trying to find a professor. Yes. Okay. Um, would you know any professors that specialize in anything like this? Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot that I can't open roll 20 on my thing. Um, I have studied the occult. Um, and last time I did some research on a book that I had um, about magic. Well, no, that, that book was in the library. Um, so I'm wondering if I've had discussions before with a professor who studies maybe like ancient societies, that sort of thing. Okay. Sure. All right. So this can be, because you're supposed to have some level of contacts and whatnot going into the game, and we didn't really flesh it out too much. So this can be someone you know, um, who said a professor of what? Uh, like, uh, uh, what was, what's the word? Uh, the, societies uh like ancient societies or like 
um, yeah, ancient societies. Yeah, anthropologist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. And do you want to name them or anything? Yeah. Um, I apparently didn't take any notes last time, so I'm just trying to catch up. But uh, we're going to call him. Um, uh, his name is Stephen um, Reynolds. Reynolds. All right. Okay, so yeah, you you make your way over to Stephen Reynolds' office. Um, I'm not going to make you make a luck roll or anything. We'll just say it's his office hours. Okay. Just for simplicity. And she kind of goes, oh, Clara, hey, nice to see you. Hello, Professor. Um, I hope I'm not imposing. I know it's your office hours, so uh, if you're waiting for any students. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I, I understand. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just wondering, I have a couple questions, and I was wondering if you uh, might be available to uh, have, a, have a chat. Absolutely. Yeah, sit down. Thanks. Um, yeah, I've I just I've I've kind of hit a a little kink, uh, or I'm sorry, that's not the right phrase. Um, I've I've gotten into a headspace and I've started researching something, and I kind of just I, you know I just need to keep going with it and and understand it more. Um, but I, I've been looking into the history of this town actually, um, and I found out some interesting things about uh, some of the um, more ancient. Um, history and I thought that you might uh know a little bit uh about the area yeah yeah I, you know it's it's got some interesting history here I don't um ancient not as not as much yeah um there it, there was something about um there was a journal I found from a French explorer of the area and they said they found something uh, with uh, blue lights um, and I was wondering if there were any sort of like rituals or uh, the native people of the area, if you knew, um, would be interested in such things or if they found perhaps, you know, a powder that went into fire that changed the color. Oh boy, why'd you roll? Why'd you roll? <laughs> I'm trying to what see if it? he knew okay. anything about this stuff. Sorry, it makes me nervous. Um, um, nothing like that to my knowledge. That's not really, um, hmm. Hmm. Um, well, it's been, um, you know, I found a couple different things about, uh, I've kind of stumbled through the, um, the, the wormhole or the, timeline of what I've found and uh there seems to be some mention of occult goings on in the area um some um certain events that have happened people dying weird electrical storms um throughout time uh do, do you can you recall anything about that or or maybe shoot me in the direction of a book that I can um maybe to think about large lizard creatures <laughs> uh, no, no, not to my knowledge, nothing like that. Uh, in terms of occult stuff in the area, um, you know, there is the whole uh, the, the old Norse runes and whatnot that they've had, in, you know, that they found in that cave. Uh, no, I, what's I that? Don't know about what's that those. guy? Yeah, yeah, you must know about it. It's the what do they call that place? It's a, the little tourist trap. The mystery you know? spot. <laughs> Something like that. No, it's uh, the Silver Falls Longhouse. Yeah, he because there was a the early nineteen hundreds. A farmer found a cave on his land that had a bunch of Nordic runes carved into it. Uh, uh -oh. Start up a 
stirred up a whole fuss. They eventually figured out it was, you know, these were, you know, modern things. And, and oh. you know, at, at first they thought it was, uh, at first they thought it was, you know, sign that, you know, Vikings had been here, you know, in ancient times oh. or something like that. Uh, carbon dating kind of put it a little more recent than that. Um, How recent, if you recall? I, you know, uh, I don't recall. It's not really, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really put any stock into it to begin right. with. Uh, the The runes themselves are a little off. They're not quite right. So uh, there was something right. people figured out pretty quick, but uh yeah so it's it's a little bit of a tourist trap down there now the the old dude uh you know has always claimed that they're real and whatnot but oh. of course he would right the the, the farmer mm, well he's long dead but his son oh. or his grandson something like that oh. oh interesting okay uh well it might be something to look into if i you know just for a you know a laugh <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah um so okay so we're talking about lightning storms can you said you saw it in a book yeah yeah it was a book i found at the library mary said she hadn't seen it there before but i'm um you know i it was something that interests me so i uh i uh checked it out to uh you know do a little bit more research you know summer can be kind of boring yeah i heard you weren't taking any or, or weren't you know doing any classes this summer mm -mm. no i decided to take some time off but um i was gonna travel and then um well i got a roommate so i wanted to make sure everything was okay that way okay all right um well you know i can look into that a little bit like i said it's summer oh yeah if you could that'd be, uh, that'd be great so lightning storms and lizard people yeah, <laughs> it seems silly. Uh, flashing blue lights was the, the term. So I don't know if it was lightning or um, or mm. some trick of the, you know, atmosphere. Mm. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be horribly uncommon for some kind of electrical. I mean, we've never found anything like that on, you know, this, this uh, hemisphere. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we know that... Uh, certain ancient peoples had batteries and things like that so uh it wouldn't be unusual for i mean it'd be an amazing discovery but it's not outside the realm of possibilities if something like that was over here yeah. um it seems a little unlikely though you know uh um there's not really any much evidence of people doing much metal working before europeans kind of touched down over this place so it would seem unlikely, but we'll see. Oh, I'd appreciate that. And you know, when I'm when I'm done with the the journal, maybe I can pass it off, and and you can take a look at it, and you know, might be good for your research too. Absolutely. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So, well, sorry I didn't know more about this. That's okay. Um. I you know obviously I don't know enough about it either. So. All right. Do you know of any um, other professors at maybe other universities that would um, uh, maybe are an expert in the occult? Just for my uh, own silly research. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I have a few contacts. Um, I can give them your number and see if they. Yeah, absolutely. If you could, if you could pass them, just tell them I'm just, you know, curious and, you know, I'm not, I'm yeah. not trying to write a paper or anything like that. Well, yeah, there's a colleague, he, he teaches over at Miskatonic. I can, uh, I can point him your way and see if you, he's definitely more involved in lizard people yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. All right. Well, yeah, I uh, hope uh, is there a good time for him to call you? Uh, you know, I'm pretty much home all the time. If not, there's a machine. We did okay. get one. But they're really exciting. They are pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Yeah. So I think we have some stuff in our library about the 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 caves, too. So I know that 
Oh. Yeah, it's kind of why there's a the college here in the first place. It kind of started up a whole archaeology type of thing over this way right. when they were looking into it. Um, so I know there's a few, there was a few grad papers, there's been a, more than a few grad papers mm -hmm. written on the thing over the years. Um, but yeah, you can always go down. I mean, they give tours for that cave like mm -hmm. four or five times a day. So, right. Uh, yeah, I, I'll go check those out. You know, I prefer being around books than I do people. So. All right. Yeah. Um, thank you very much, um, Dr. Reynolds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, anytime. It's great talking to you. Good to see you too. Uh, uh, we'll see you around. <laughs> All right. See ya. And I think Clara will then go get a, like, go find a payphone um, and call the house to call James if he's there. Uh, sure. With travel time and stuff. Mm hmm. Alex is unclear. Ring, ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, James, it's uh, Clara. Oh, um, uh, hi. You uh, got something or? Uh, yeah, I have. I have a lead. Um, there's the whole Silver Farms Longhouse. Remember in town that whole tourist place? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I mean, what's it? Uh, got to do with any of this? Well, they said that they found some Norse runes there that weren't correct, um, so I'm wondering if there might be some correlation or something like that with uh, with what we've got going on. There are some papers in the um, in the library that I'm going to check out to see. Um, I don't know if you wanted to uh, have you heard anything uh, about um, Carol? Not yet. Um... No, I told them what happened. They took my statement, took my fingerprints and blood type too. Um, God, I really hope the Millers haven't somehow planted all that. But um, we're well, we're I'm gonna see. With me. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just. It. You know, I'm not. Putting it past it for the cops to show up and, you know, kick down our door and take me away because they find my, uh, if they find anything for, I mean, they're going to find certainly my fingerprints there. Um, mm -hmm. I think we cleaned up enough. There shouldn't be. Yeah, anyway, um, um, I don't need to know anything else. Thank right. You. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, the, the, the longhouse, longhouse, um, yeah, I mean, runes. I mean, there there were definitely runes in the basement. Um, I don't... I wouldn't trust myself enough to say I could you know, say which ones they were, but if we get either, you know, if we either... If you get copies of the runes out of your book, or if we go on a tour there and, you know, play tourist um, and see them for ourselves, we could maybe compare them the next time we... Uh, end up in the basement yeah i think it might be a good idea to go down there um do you want to do that today we we could try um college kids i'm assuming at this point it's probably what maybe like it's still early afternoon at the latest yeah so yeah we could probably go um Go do that. Um, just shouldn't be an issue because I mean it's not it's not too far out of town. They're not gonna know, or rather, the, it's not gonna get it. Blah, blah, blah. Not gonna worry the cops if I'm gone. We'll uh, if we get if we get in the car and uh, start driving away and they stop us, then you know obviously it's an issue. But yeah, we can right. try. Okay, uh, well, I'm just going to do a little bit more research and then and then I'll head home okay. to the house, back to the house. Yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Uh, what research are you doing? 
Yes, I would like to look into this, uh, the Silver Farm Longhouse. The Silver um, Falls Longhouse, sorry. Falls, that's all right. I, I, when I was writing it, I was like, I remembered the first and the last word, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> it was on a farm. I get it, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, she's going to look into, like, the original claims and maybe uh, why it was debunked probably to like understand when like when it was established and if there are any like runes that are like have been noted and stuff okay and she'll take notes of that all right uh yeah give me a library use boy howdy can i 46 over 87 all right yeah um yeah so you find uh, a few um, kind of papers and you know uh, things done on the this over the years. You find a few like of the original newspaper articles. Those are pretty easy to find. Um, some of the pictures of the cave and whatnot. So you have strong uh, representation of the uh, the runes themselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're they're not you know super super clear as it's you know older pictures and it seems like no one's done any serious research on this in probably the past 30 years okay um, uh, but yeah date when they were made uh so yeah carbon dating shows them to be from uh, like the past hundred or so years. Okay. Uh, so yeah, well after people lived in, or right. Europeans lived in the Americas. Um, okay. Um, which kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it kind of was getting debunked even before the carbon dating. Because carbon dating is relatively new at this point. Um, and so there was kind of, you know, once it really kind of started getting famous and whatnot, some people kind of looked into it a little more. The first clue being that the runes weren't like quite right for Nordic runes. Um, and it kind of hindered translation uh of anything and as that kind of went on some people started investigating it a little bit more and and the uh the son of the farmer was found to have uh an interest in nordic things and so it was kind of decided that uh the family this uh, family kind of planted these or something and decided to uh try and make a name for themselves try and get a little money out of the deal which i mean they they had made quite a bit of money off of it um for a while so that's not totally unheard of and if anything right. the carbon dating makes it seem like that's a little bit unlikely mm -hmm. uh but it's still it's like well it's still not what it's supposed yeah. to be so okay um yeah, I think the next step would be to go get James and actually go to this place just to give it a look-see. Okay. Yeah, so you make it back. Um, and yeah, you kind of pull into the driveway and as you're kind of pulling up, walking over from the house, Go ahead. Uh, from uh, Carol's house, you see a detective oh, gardener <laughs> coming Better over him. to talk to you. <laughs> Denim Miller. All right, yeah. She'll get <laughs> out of the car and adjust her hair. All right. You kind of. Uh, hi. Are you? Uh, are you Clara? Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, I talked to uh, James earlier, and I just wanted to talk to you and clarify a few things. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm uh, Detective Kevin Gardner. 
Oh, detective. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So um, what is the nature of your relationship with James? With James? Yes. Why does that matter? Because uh, it does. Please answer the question. Oh, um, I, he, he lives with me. Uh, he rents my other spare room. Okay. Uh, we work together at the university. He is a maintenance person, and uh, I'm a professor, and he needed a place to stay, so I uh, offered. I, I, I know him well enough to know that, uh, to feel, as, at least, you know, as a, as a single woman, and knowing them well enough to invite them into my home. So I, I, they are kind. James is very nice and, and, and always helps out around the house. Okay. All right. Um, so nothing there. You're just friends. Yeah. What do you mean? No ro- romantic intentions. No. No. What do you have to say about it? Uh, no, I did. No, that he's just my roommate. Just, um, you know, a, yeah, a friend, a friend. Okay. Um, and uh, what? You know, what, what's your uh, relationship with Carol Brown? Well, Carol has been my neighbor for a long time, and uh, she's one of the more, um, you know, as, as another single lady on the street, she's someone I can relate to, and, and uh, you know, we're not very um, housewife-y, and so we can talk about things. Uh, so I, you know, she was one of my closer friends. It is was one of my closer. Well, I'm just very worried. There's mm-hmm. been a lot of weird stuff happening around. Uh, like what? Um, just uh, uh, my new neighbors. You know, the the whole neighborhood shaken up. You know, not in a bad way, but um, just, this makes you worried. Yeah. Well, you know, not like. They're nice people, and and they, um, you know, they brought by food. Uh, the, the everyone was kind of sick when they came in, so it's just you know when a neighborhood is established, and 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 you know somebody new comes in, the dynamic shifts, and um, you know I care about my neighbors a lot, so I just want to make sure everyone's safe. And how did you feel about James having sexual relations with uh, Carol? <laughs> she just goes beat red. She's like, uh, James is. Um, James is a grown adult and he can do whatever he like with whomever he likes. And, and it's none of my business who he or Carol has relations with. And it's not something I feel very comfortable talking about because sex in general is something I just don't feel comfortable talking about. I'm very anxious when it comes to the subject that I'm talking too much, but, um, yes, I, it's fine. Okay. Um, and when was the last time you saw Carol? I saw Carol um, yesterday, oh. right? Oh. Sorry, that was LB. That was Clara shifting into LB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, I think we talked about the, um, the the food that was brought over um, from the neighbor. Okay. You didn't see her this morning at all? No, no, I did not. Just when, just James coming home. Okay. And what time was that, do you know? Um, I think it was right around 10 o'clock. I had already had my first cup of coffee and yeah, I think Wheel of Fortune was starting. So right around 10. Okay. And you two were together until uh, well, he uh, was James called the, the cops. Yeah, he was around the house uh, doing. He was doing maintenance and and some stuff outside when, uh, and I was in the window. Uh, well, I was reading upstairs in, near the window, and uh, we both heard a a sound. Uh, sounded like a scream. So James okay, so you screen. heard the scream as well then. Yes, very faintly through the window. Okay. Interesting. Um, and so you weren't, you know, if James, there's no way he could have snuck out 
for 15 minutes or so? Um, no, he was definitely right outside my window for the most part. I think he was cleaning the gutters. Was he cleaning? The, was he pretending to clean the gutters? I don't think we specified what work he was doing, but... He's doing maintenance. <laughs> All right, I'm you kind of super comfortable on the ladder. Looks clumsy. at the house. He kind of goes, "What kind of maintenance?" I think he was cleaning the gutters. All right. Oh, uh, because you got a ladder in the garage there. I think the ladder's still up, unless he put it away, right? Um, I mean, if if James was just sitting around at the house, he probably would have put the ladder away mm -hmm. by this point. Uh, yeah, it's it's in the garage. I can't go take a look at the like gutters. It. At the gutters? Yeah. Is there some discrepancy in our story that you're concerned about? I just want to check and see if they've been cleaned recently. Oh. Uh, okay, I'll have to get James to get the ladder, though. It's kind of heavy. Oh, I can take care of it. You just want to open up the garage for me? Um, no, I'll get James to get it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Go in the house. Um, the police officer wants to see our gutters. Oh. Um, is it? It's Detective Gardner, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, I'll go. You know, I'll open up the garage and get the ladder. Um. Okay. And no. Again, at this point, I think we can just safely retcon that sure he was cleaning the gutters because okay. we didn't. Didn't specify what it was before, yeah. but so James will go in through wherever he was in the house into the garage. Uh, and assuming he doesn't find Carol's body stashed there <laughs> or anything is going to open the garage and get the ladder out. Okay. In fact. Uh, roll me a luck roll. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, uh, you, you grab the ladder. And were you actually cleaning gutters or were you just looking like you were cleaning gutters? No, I was actually cleaning gutters. Yeah, okay. I feel like James is like, if he, we had decided like he was trying to keep busy in the front. I don't think James could like pretend to do something for that long. It doesn't, he doesn't seem like the person. Yeah. It's like, oh, I right. needed to clean the gutters. I can do that while also being out front. Okay. So yeah, he goes up and he checks and he sees the clean gutters and comes back down. He goes, all right. Well, I will be talking to the two of you again, I'm sure. Yes. Um, have you, I mean, have you found her? No. Okay. Do you, do you have any idea where she, do you think she was taken? It certainly appears that way. I, I was just, I was told there was a lot of blood. Um, like I said, she was one of my closer friends. Is, does it seem like there was too much blood? Like, You know, there was a lot. I don't want to make any kind of speculation at the moment here. Um, we haven't ruled out the possibility of finding her alive. Thank you, Detective. I know you're just doing your job. Well, yeah, I'll be talking to you all again. Uh, you. Quick question. Um, mm -hmm. We were thinking, um, you know, to try and, uh, because of the unpleasantness of all this, of doing something to take our minds off of this, and we were thinking of going up to the, uh, the Silver Falls Longhouse and you know, checking out that tourist trap, playing tourist, um, would that be an issue for us to be away for that long? No, absolutely not. Okay, just wanted, you know, make sure you didn't see us getting in the truck and thinking we were, you know, trying to get out of town or anything. Okay, yeah, I mean, don't leave town. Not planning on it, got lots of work still to do, but uh, like I said, I think it would be good to get our minds off of this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. All right. Well, we'll be back later this evening then if you have more questions. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, you know, friendly advice. Someone who's been involved in a lot of police investigations, 
do things like save your receipts and stuff like that okay. going forward. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. I'm not saying anything yet. You know, you're the last people to, uh, you know, or James, you're the last person to seen her alive as far as we can tell. And just, you know, automatically means that you are more intensely investigated than yeah. a lot of other people. Um, had um, Matt Miller Jr. not gotten there yet? Um, he had not. He, well, he, he went by the house and there was no answer, so he just moved on. Oh, okay. He seems like a good kid. He does. Seems like a great kid. Offered him on my lawn. But, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. And he kind of walks off, walks over back to Carol's house, which is now, you know, got the police tape around the yard and whatnot. Um, go back inside. You okay? Yeah. I, I'm just thinking about timelines and if this is the one we end on. Oh, that is a messy line of thought. Cause... Okay. Yeah, that's... gosh. If this is a, and this is a huge if, because we, you know, we don't even know if we, you know, we never know which one is going to be the last one. Um, I mean, it's only been, what, twice so far? Don't, don't your fancy statistics say that's not enough to, you know, prove anything yet, or? Yeah, that's fair. But, um. um... Yeah, you're right. Um, let's just um, let's go take our minds off this, I guess. All right. Yeah. Um, gonna. Yeah, we'll be ready uh, in five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he he did ask me a lot of questions about um our. Um. Uh, situation. Did right. You, did Did you say something? That... I mean, he. When I told him where I lived and that I was renting, he asked about that too. And you know, I said, that, you know, "We're we're friends." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that's that. It would just seem, you know, kind of, it's, you know, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, it's. I'm sure it's his job. Um. I mean, he asked about my relationship with Carol, which was um, an interesting question to try to answer. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure it was. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, be ready in five? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will put tennis shoes on. Good call. All right. Yeah, so you make it over to the uh, Silver Falls Longhouse. Um, it's... Uh, it's a little run down. Looks like it's uh, been a little while since it's gotten a new uh, coat of paint or anything like that. Uh, and it is kind of, it's kind of tacky. You know, it's, it's bright and colorful. The colors have kind of faded a little bit, but it's kind of an eye-catching color scheme. And it's built in a Viking longhouse-ish fashion. Um you go inside and uh, there is, let's see. This, yeah, there's a, a, a guy kind of sitting at the desk. Um, he's got a name tag that says Chris on it. And I will show two players. Oh boy, may I? Yep, sure. it's your turn. Okay. 
Uh, think stereotypical uh, nerd from the 80s. He's uh, got a very oblong shaped face with a, a semi strong jawline. Uh, he is wearing uh, glasses. Boy, I don't know what this shape is, but they're very large uh, and kind of oblong shaped, uh, like a, almost like a triangle. Um, brown with short brown hair, a plaid blue shirt, a uh, nice watch, and some jeans with a belt. Big nerd. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he kind of looks at you and he's, uh, uh, welcome to the Silver Falls Longhouse. Um, are, is, are you here for the tour? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've oh. recently become very interested in the history of the area, so I'm very excited. Well, it's an interesting part of the history here, let me tell you. So, uh, yeah, and he kind of goes, that'll be uh, $3 a piece. We give them three dollars. All right, each, <laughs> not just three total. We, uh, is it? Is there a point where we both pay for ourselves? Like we're like, no, 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 that, no. Here, we're like, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of just like, no, I got you. It's like, no, no, the, I'm paying for myself. This is fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, you better not That's pay for James. It. He's obscenely wealthy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that for a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he kind of goes, all right. He, he gives you a, a couple of, of uh, bracelets to put on. Goes, all right, so you can, you can just head in. The tour is going to start in probably about 15 minutes. You can look around the museum if you want. Uh, there's interesting stuff there. Uh, you said you recently become interested in in the in the history of this area. Yeah, I, I found a a, um, a journal from a French explorer. I'm a professor at the college, um, and and he was in the area and he had some interesting things to say. So I, you know, wanted to delve in a little little deeper. Okay. Well, that's really that's really cool. It uh, it's it you this way. Uh, we don't see too many people from the college over here, I guess. Oh, well, not professors, anyways. Oh, just a fun hobby. All right. Um, well, yeah. There's some there's some reading in here, and he 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 grabs a few brochures and hands them to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, or not brochures, they're more like pamphlets. Mm-hmm. Um. And yeah, we got a, a local historical society here that you know you could always join and and uh, or donate to if you're if you're interested in something like that. Um, oh, there's a historical society uh, about what do they just to study the area? Oh yeah, you know, and and the implications of the ruins uh, oh. here and whatnot. Uh, I mean, most of the people involved are either interested in the ruins or um or you know the old old mine collapse Mm -hmm. but yeah that's about it okay um yeah thank you very much he says to her are there is there anyone else here are we the only two uh you walk in there's there was a it's it's the summer um although it's getting later in the afternoon uh, it's probably the last year of the day. So, yeah, there's a few other people here. Um, it's it's not crowded mm-hmm. by any means. Okay. But, yeah. We're not the only ones, and he's going to, you know, the awkward thing of having to act like there's a much larger tour group and it's just the two of us. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. There's, may, there's probably a few... Um, college kids who are living here over the summer who aren't from here or something like that there's uh maybe a few people from out of town who are driving through you know doing the hit up all the all the goofy tourist traps along the the highway kind of thing Mm -hmm. um but yeah maybe like 10 other people okay dang um yeah just gonna wander around the uh 
the museum. Um, I don't know if they just have pictures of the runes out there already or what sort of stuff there is. Um, there are some like newspaper articles and stuff that they have like in glass cases and pictures of the runes. There's actually a, one of the runes it, itself has kind of been taken out. It apparently had, you read the little thing and it had been uh, chipped away uh, before its discovery or something and they found it uh, largely intact. There's like the bottom left hand corner is broken off. Um, and uh yeah there's there's just a lot of really it it's not like it's a huge thing right it's a cave with runes in it so mm -hmm. there's uh, they've really stretched to make there be yeah, yeah. a museum here <laughs> yeah okay um and i'm assuming no instant recognition of the one rune that's available um looking at it yeah it looks very similar uh, if you want to give me let's say um say an intelligence roll to know for a fact it's 100 percent the same uh, i'll let you do that let me attempt that. Nope, that's a 77 versus 40. All right. Uh, it's very similar. You don't... You can't know for certain. Um, but it's similar enough that you feel like you must be onto something. Yeah, and I do think in preparation for this, probably brought out like a notebook and is trying to sketch the rune... Let's see, I'm trying to think because I keep forgetting one of the options when building the character was to have him be good at like draftsman tools. I don't think I actually took those skills, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing anything on my sheet about it, but you know, certainly attempts to copy it faithfully. All right, it's not an overly complex uh, thing. I'm not going to make you roll to spend like five minutes getting the lines right on this thing mm -hmm. um and yeah you have a basic copy of the rune yeah uh claire's gonna study she's gonna read the uh the pamphlet over and over again <laughs> the documentation to see if there's anything that is ringing any bells about our current situation Okay, uh, give me a language check. Which one? Uh, this is going to be your own language. It's written in, assuming your language own is English. Yes. Uh, uh, I also know Greek, if that's going to come up at all, just so you know. I know not Greek. at the moment. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, 18 number 42. Heart success. Okay. Ayo. Yeah. Um, so... As you're kind of reading the pamphlets, you see a few pictures. They, it starts talking about one of the oddities of the cave is some of the, um, it's not immediately noticeable, but uh, with some better lighting that was eventually bought into the caves, the scorch marks were noticed uh, in the cave itself. Um, the, uh, later, you know, some, some it just says scientists determined to be uh electrical burns oh man um and okay. yeah <laughs> um when do i have any idea of the timeline like if this was a uh, hundred and some years ago does this seem to oh yeah so it was basically around the time the french uh uh explorer was here the french explorer would have been here like two three hundred years ago mm -mm. my notes say a hundred ish years ago 
Wasn't that when it, the journal was most recently translated and reprinted? Okay, how do you fucking know that? I did, yeah, if I read the whole sentence, yes. Because, <laughs> yeah, it was before uh, Ohio was a part of... Right, uh, okay, fine. It was when it was a French territory, so... If uh, I said a hundred something years ago, I was didn't. mistaken. <laughs> you didn't. It said a fr obscure French book translated to English one hundred ish years ago. Okay. If I put it down in my notes, it's somewhere in the brain. Yeah. Right. If I don't take notes, like when I'm GMing our other Tuesday game, it's just like I don't know. Maybe that happened. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, All right. I will read the whole sentence before I speak up again. So All this, right. was, this was much after that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair. Right. Okay. So, um, you guys are just kind of walking around, looking at the the gift shop. Uh, I'd like both of you to roll me spot hidden, please. Okay. Oof. It's an eighty-three versus thirty-eight. <laughs> oh 30 versus 35 that's a success for me all right and make sure you're marking your successes by the way yeah um so as you're kind of wandering around looking at some of the articles and whatnot uh you see the kind of original uh article uh on this uh, printed in a a newspaper in 1914 and uh, it's kind of been it's it's been blown up a little bit, but not very much because it's not like the the paper itself is gonna yeah uh, get better <laughs> if the you blow it up. Enhance. Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. Um. And there's sort of this picture of the the farmer like uh talking to uh some some college uh folks some archaeologists who showed up and there's a little bit of a crowd around him uh and you notice in the crowd an individual that looks remarkably like dr miller they're vampires um uh okay is is this like up on the wall uh it is in like a, a display case okay um clara is gonna purchase a disposable camera do they have uh, disposable cameras in 1980 i i was like i pull out my phone and take a picture no Invention. Invented. Ugh. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh. This is this is how my thought process went. Take a picture of it with your phone. No, can't do that. It's earlier than that. Uh, okay. Uh, take a uh, see if you can uh, see if you have a digital camera. No, no, no. Before that, <laughs> there's <laughs> no way we brought all the way back camera. to disposable, and it's yeah. still too early still for that. Uh, what did people take pictures with? Then they ate. Didn't they like record stuff? They had cameras. They had cameras. Yeah, just not disposable. Yeah. Um, you, let's see. We'll say they have some cheap cameras here. Uh, sure. That you can purchase. Uh, what would the cheap cameras have been back in the day? Um, yeah. Um, we'll just say it's a, we'll say it's a Polaroid. The, the snap and the picture yeah, yeah, comes yeah, out. Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah, Polaroid. Yeah. Oh, the Polaroid camera museum. Oh, it's a, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have one of those stupid giant, like, rec the video recorders. Ugh. Sponsor us. Uh, let's see. Autofocus compact camera, the AF 35 millimeter, uh, was made in 1977 by Kodiak. Koenig. Okay, so... Wow, it, maybe it's not that cheap. It's only been around for three years. I know. But Apparently, James is ro uh, rocking all the money. So there are but cameras here for purchase if you would want. There's not many. They mostly just sell some film in case your film is uh, out in your own cameras. Um, but yeah, we'll say you can uh, you can grab a, a camera for for thirty bucks. It's, um, you don't need to worry about the 30 bucks, honestly. Um, you have, you easily have the money to cover it. If you start doing big purchases, we'll start worrying about it a little bit more. Let's buy a car. <laughs> I think we have two cars. I think we each have a car. You each have enough money that you could have a car with your uh, starting possessions. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We could buy a, right. Toyota, a Toyota Ciela for $5,964 in 1980. Yeah. I just realized I think I was muted on stream for a lot of that. They should have gotten yeah. the, the, the subtitles for me or the captions, but whoops. I set up a new See? fancy hotkey and See? it's already screwing me over. I told you. <laughs> that was I wasn't saying anything too important from any of that. It was just reading Wikipedia. Oh, just for the uh the camera talk. All Pretty right. sure that's all they missed. Okay, yeah. Long story short, we read a lot of Wikipedia about cameras for yeah. anyone. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, should have yeah, been yeah. able to hear you. Not able to read captions. Anyways, moral yeah. of the story is Clara's gonna try and take a. She's gonna take a picture uh, and have the flash on and realize that the flash is on, and then take another picture with the flash off. Um, and she's gonna like look at James and point to the picture. James will get up close and be like, that "What look familiar?" You probably have to, you know go through a little bit of like okay that back one? that one next to oh oh shit yeah okay this is i feel like it's good to know i don't know how or why it's good to know but probably good to know Thanks for buying the camera, by the way. Yeah, of course, you're welcome. Um, yeah, with that and the um, the electrical burns, I'm. This is. It seems like it has to do with our problem. Electrical burns. It's James didn't read the pamphlet. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you see here? They said that the. Um, one of the oddities is they found the scorch marks, and a, a scientist uh, later found them to just be electrical burns. Oh, yeah, this is, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, you know, this is, uh, I guess we'll see what's in the cave. It's a good idea. All right. Yeah, the tour uh, eventually, you know, it's, it's about time for the tour. Um, let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, 
an, an older man is uh, kind of comes out from a room and uh, this is what he looks like. Show the players. Okay. Um, he's a kindly old man. It's a little bit pudgy, but uh, well dressed, clean button down and khakis. Uh, got some glasses on, mostly balding up top. Yeah. All right. And I forgot to write his name in here. <laughs> just long house. Yeah, just says long house owner. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, okay. I'll have to look at my notes. Because I don't want to name him something different than my notes, and then I have to. Yeah. Uh, he, he introduces himself. We'll say that. Yeah. Okay. And you know, I my my family's owned this land for you know quite a few years now. Uh, it was my uh, it was my uh, my my grandfather who found found the cave, and. And yeah, um, so uh, yeah, if you folks want to come see it for yourselves, uh, you know, get your three dollars worth, and takes you in. It's a uh, it's a bit of a hike into the cave. It's it's uh, you the 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 longhouse has been kind of built right by the entrance to it, so uh, there's not really it's not really a uh, much of a walk outside but you you get into the cave and you're uh kind of have to go down some some uh, steps and kind of made into it it looks like this area has been excavated a little bit to allow for easier travel and uh, while the area is a little hilly you're surprised to find sort of this this large um natural looking cave down here uh looks like maybe you know an underwater stream at one point maybe carved this out or something and as you get in uh james it becomes pretty quickly apparent that this is a very similar setup to what you've seen in the basement um the runes themselves seem to be arranged around sort of a stone table and uh, there's some pillars in the rooms that seem to have runes on them as well and runes on the ceiling. Uh, so it's it's different, but when you look at the floor, it, it's like you've now seen this twice and or more than twice and mm -hmm. some you know pretty horrific memories. It's kind of burned into the brain. This is yeah, this this is you you would expect that these uh, runes on the floor are probably identical to the ones in the Miller's basement. I'm gonna whisper as much to Clara as we're following along with the tour group. Oh boy. And yeah, he kind of just kind of goes on and on about it for a little while. I mean, not on and on. It's There's not much to say about it. He points it out. It's the tour, you know, is more of him talking about uh, his family and sort of the history of what's happened since then and, you know, the supposed debunking of the whole thing. And that while, you know, carbon dating is showing that it's, you know, not as old as they once thought it was, it definitely, you know, exonerates his family and leads to some very interesting questions about what exactly this cave might have been used for. And... Uh, that the historical society here in town is pushing to, you know, get these these runes translated um, and to get a look at some things that the local college has, some of the work that early scholars did that has been made unavailable to them. I'm sorry, uh, there is there are books at the college that are unavailable to the society? uh yes there's um some some of the folks that originally came here and and looked at things some of the ones my grandfather met had uh had 
to have been trying to translate these runes and they had written some graduate papers on it and whatnot. And those are not available for the general public to, to check out and look at. And we have not been given permission to, to look at them. Oh, they are, they're afraid for the, the safety of the, the contents of, of these things they say to us. Oh, oh, I see. Thank you. The papers that I read today, no, I didn't, yeah, uh, does, no, just kidding, I didn't go there today, did I? No, I did. Yeah, Sorry. you did. But I didn't read any uh, graduate papers, just the news article? Uh, you read some stuff on it, but um, you didn't read any of the uh, the early translation attempts. Okay. You read some stuff that referenced those, however. Okay. Um, making a note about that. Yeah. All right. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the of the tour. Does he show uh, us the um, electrical burns? Uh, yes. Yeah. He 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 pulls out a big flashlight and kind of shines it on. Does it look like, like random, or can James tell that there is some sort of pattern, like something similar to the machine that we saw, just to double confirm? Does it maybe seem like it has jumped out of the pillars in some fashion? Uh, there, they definitely do seem to be concentrated in the area around the pillars, uh, on both the floor and ceiling. The cave itself is a little too large, um, so it hasn't really gone gotten to the exterior walls because the this sort of area is fairly confined in the cave. Um, and does it look like there are any like because we're looking at this uh, ourselves? Does it look like there are any spots on the ground where things have maybe been put and or moved from? Like if they had set up the equipment here. Um, is there, I mean, this is long ago, but does there seem to be any indentation at all? Um, give me a spot hidden. Or if you have any relevant, uh, geology skills. <laughs> geology? Uh, sure don't. Uh, I mean, I can check. Yeah, I'll just do spot hidden. Uh, oh, way off. Oh, well, that's Dave. a success for me. 25 versus 38. All right. Uh, so that's good. We'll get to Clara did roll a critical failure on that 97. That is correct. I forgot about that. Um, does that, what does that push the horror? Yeah. If I fail again, I will also push the horror. Yes. Right? Okay, I'll I'll just leave it because yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um yeah, so James kind of looking around. Um you do notice in some of the uh, on the floor, some of the scorch marks kind of definitely outline uh some some things that look like they kind of went around. Uh, some objects that were placed on on the ground um, near this table at the center. Um, and it's sort of on one end. Uh, okay. Looks like there was maybe there was some kind of looks like a like edged corners and whatnot. Uh, you can't tell exactly what it was, but Okay. Uh, it's a, about a distance away from the table that you remember seeing the metal coffin in the in the basement. Okay. Good to know. I'm gonna hold on to well. Hmm. No, no reason not to share that with 
Clara now, but she also never really got to see the equipment in the basement, so wouldn't know as much what I'm talking about. So they were definitely here, right? Probably, or... Yeah, you know, knew something about what happened in here and copied it. Maybe, uh, but the picture... Right, yeah, that's that's almost definitely something. Um, I wonder if we can... I mean, this is, like, low on the priority list, but I wonder if we can... Um, check some sort of... Um, you know, we can check the newspapers and see if we can get their names from back then. Will be the names of the people who were there? Well what the Millers called themselves back then. I think it's going to be a long shot, because didn't you say that Dr. Miller in the photo just looked like he was one of the many onlookers? Like, he wasn't one of the scholars or anything, right? Right, right, but, I mean, there might be something if... I mean, I know we have a lot of things to look at right now, but it's a, something to keep in their mind. Right, of course, yeah. Maybe we could use it to catch them off guard. It's possible. Right. Okay. Um, is there anything else we need to look at while we're in here? I mean oh, uh, the runes that were broken, like, uh, my, I guess my question is, do you, does it seem like the circle was broken and like, I don't know how we would know this, but does it seem like the circle was broken and that's why it stopped working and they moved on or like, did they date the breaking? <sighs> no, well, I guess because really you said there was like that one extra rune in the yeah. museum. Is it obvious where it came from in the cave? Uh, yeah, there's a section of the cave uh, of these rooms that have kind of been uh, broken off. It looks like something happened to one of the pillars here. Hmm. And um, I will ask um, the gentleman who found the who um, is leading the tour. Um, when did your family move on to this land? Um, my, my grandfather bought it about, um, I, it was in, a, a 1885. It would have been um, like 30 years later that the cave was discovered. Mm -hmm. Were there Eight ever any, yeah, were there ever any strange happenings in that time that, you, that was noted? before they found the cave? What do you mean? Oh, uh, there have been uh, weird uh, lights, uh, maybe uh, uh, strange people moving around, anything like that. Uh, there's a lot of um, uh, local legend of, um, I know it's silly, but uh, like, uh, I don't even want to say it out loud, lizard people. Um, uh, like, you know, uh, just local legend stuff. Have you been strange? Like, have you been talking to, to Chris uh, at the front uh, desk? He's not no. seeing any UFO theories, is he? No, 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 no. I, I'm just curious. It's, it's always interesting to see what sort of goes into uh, a spot like this. There's always some preemptive stuff. I think. Um, well, no, nothing supernatural to my knowledge. Okay. She just like shrinks back into the crowd. <laughs> oh, right. Um, is there anything else you all want to I don't think so. I mean, just given how many runes there are, uh, I mean, James is still going to try and copy a bunch of them down, but 
you said earlier that feels pretty confident that these are an exact match, but just just to be safe. Yeah. Maybe take a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Um, sorry, just so we're clear, the uh they moved in about thirty years before the cave was found. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't wanna get it wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh yeah. So I think if there's nothing else you want to look into here, um, we will take our break and we'll come back. That'll give me a little time to figure out how to advance the horror of the game here. Yep, that's an exciting thing you get to do. Not going to be bad for us at all. But as he said, we will be taking our break. Going to be about 10 minutes, so refresh your water, take your meds, get a snack, do whatever you need to do. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back soon. Well, hello there, Internet. We are back. Thank you for hanging with us on our break. We are refreshed, and we hope that you are, too. Um, yeah, I was going to maybe make a bad joke about refreshing the, the Twitch page, but, you know, if you do that, you know, that's fine. It doesn't, you know, if, that's, if that floats your boat, your Internet boat, then go right ahead. Um, I don't know. I, I told you it was going to be a bad joke, and then I didn't bail when I gave myself the out. So, you know, now I'm just going down with this this bad ship. <laughs> anyway. We'll go down with this ship. Uh, speaking of ships that are failing, what are James and Clara up to coming back from the break? Uh, Clara yes. had a question from last time. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, she wanted to know if the pillar looked like it had, like, been disrupted, uh, by a natural occurrence, or if it had been, uh, a something else. All right. Um. Hmm. Let me look at some skills here. Okay. Because, yeah, give me a natural world. Roll. Match? Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Here we go. Nope. All right. Difficult to discern. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you had, if you have any uh thing on, like, any um uh, tools or anything like that, any skills like that, you could probably roll those to, to figure out whether or not it specifically falls in that tool set. I'm really good at climbing. Rocks. Uh, rock sure, climbing. sure, sure. I'll give it to you. Maybe you've done some rock climbing before. It's it's in your backstory now. You do rock climbing. Yes, yes. Um, right. So you can, you're familiar with uh, certain kinds of like chisel marks and things like that uh -huh. then. That's a 58 out of 60. That's a success. I told you. Clara <laughs> was going to go on a trip. She was going to go on a trip and, and climb and see the stars. And then James needed a place to live. So she didn't feel comfortable leaving him home this time. Well, I see how it is. Maybe James will just move out. Hmm. There's a house just across the street that's now vacant. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so fucking dark. <laughs> <laughs> all right well you got a success um yeah i don't think it's too hard to notice as you kind of get in um you're you have no idea whether or not anything natural could cause anything like this but you get a closer look and you see some clear signs of of tool marks you're familiar with it looks like someone took uh took a chisel to this and tried to try to uh knock out some of these runes Okie dokie.
Uh, she will mention that in the car on the way out. Although, might be worth it to talk to Chris. Okay. Um, I guess Clara will walk up awkwardly. She is really facing her fear of people right now. Mm -hmm. She's trying. So proud. Uh, she'll, uh, excuse me, um, Chris? Uh, yeah. Um, I, when we were in the, um, in the tour with, uh, the, the gentleman who owns the area, he said that you, um, were interested in the, um, sort of, uh, more, um, I don't want to say silly, but the more, uh, extreme things that might've happened, like supernatural things that have happened in the area. Well, I wouldn't say supernatural, but I, you know, uh, a group of us kind of are interested in, you know, some some UFO sightings and things like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, like, like uh, what kind of UFOs? Just like bright lights or seeing things in the sky? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we're interested in things like that for sure. Uh, there's there's a there's a long history of of uh, some interesting um, electrical phenomena that that definitely seem like that it's uh, unlikely they'd be natural. Oh, I see. Uh, was there any around the time that the family moved here? Um, I don't know. I don't remember specifically. Um, and he kind of goes he grabs a he grabs a sheet of paper and he he writes some stuff down he goes uh these are the books off the top of my head that i would say oh. are are kind of relevant to to it oh perfect books i like books <laughs> and it goes and if you if that's something you're interested in uh me and some of the other people in the historical society we kind of have and he, he kind of goes over to, um, he's got some kind of bag or something underneath mm -hmm. the, the, the table. You can hear him digging through. And he, he pulls out a card oh. um, that uh, is, is uh, just like the, it's just like SF silver, uh, SF uh, UFO. Uh, society kind of thing yeah uh yeah she will take it and give him a head nod and thank him and yeah and, and we uh he goes we meet at at uh the ymca down over uh and he gives you a street because we we meet there on uh on on uh saturday nights at about uh usually starts about 6 p.m okay um, okay. At the YMCA. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Kind of awkwardly. Uh -huh. It's like, all uh, right. He's I not going leave. anywhere. I yeah. Need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Clara leaves. All right. Um, Yeah, and as you're kind of walking out to the car, uh, you see uh, Detective Gardner oh. waiting out there. Oh. Um, hello, Detective. Evening. Hi. Hi. Has there been a development? Uh, yeah, I was just, I wanted to talk to you for a second, James, if I could, if you wouldn't mind stepping over this way. Sure. I uh, kind of just quickly, not guiltily, but just checking around to make sure there aren't just like a bunch of cop cars hiding or yeah. anything. But uh, yeah, sure. Um, you know, gives Clara the keys to the car so she can head over if she wants to, but. Oh, we'll have them back to you soon, Claire. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Just uh, you, you hang here, and we're just going to talk for a few minutes. Oh, okay. Should should James have a lawyer present? Do you want a lawyer present, James? 
Would you like to go down to the station? I don't know if that's strictly necessary yet. All right. Um, as he kind of, he, he takes you off a little ways, walks with you a couple minutes down the road, and he goes, all right. Uh, so, James, um, this afternoon while you're cleaning the gutters, uh, you were near Claire's room, but you wouldn't have been able to see into her room at all times or anything like that, would you? I mean, not at all times, but I mean, I was, when I heard the scream, I went and I knocked on her window and, you know, we conferred about both hearing the scream. Okay. Um, well, interesting thing, James, no one else in the neighborhood seems to remember hearing a scream. Huh. I mean, that, I guess it's not too surprising. I mean, it, Maybe I didn't describe it clearly enough. It was, it wasn't a distinct scream, but it was a uh, a faint scream. And you know, like like Clara said earlier, we've both just kind of been on edge lately, and so a little a little jumpy, I guess. Okay. All right. And um, who who heard the scream first? Who noticed it first? I'm pretty sure it was me. Okay. Um, and you don't want to amend any kind of statements on your relationship with Claire or anything like that? No, I mean, I rent the room. We're friendly. We hang out. Um, that's, I mean, yeah, we are both at the college, but I mean, she's, she's a professor and I'm, you know, just one of the maintenance guys. Okay. And, um, so you, just to get your timeline down a little bit better here, you, you came to, came back from Carol's mm -hmm. after breakfast. Clara says about like 10 a.m. Sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. And so you're, you come back, you do what? And talked with Clara for a little bit, um, she was aware of what had transpired between yourself and she was aware that I spent the night there, yes. Okay. Um I'm just looking back at my notes from last time. Um you know, it wasn't too long after that that Matt Jr. came over to introduce himself. Um and, you know, we both said hello. Uh, and then that's when you know, we went and I, you know, started cleaning the gutters and she went to read her books. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Let's, uh, let's get you back to your car, huh? Right. Um, yeah. All right. He, he kind of walks, starts walking over, um, with you. And as he approaches the, the car, he uh, says, Clara? Yes, Detective? I'm going to need you to come to the station with me. To the, to the station? Mm-hmm. Uh, for what purpose? I need you to clear a few things up, a few questions I have come uh, kind of come across in the course of my investigation. And this is going to require her coming down to the station? I mean, I know you asked me if I could see in her window the whole time, but I would have been able to see if she'd left the house. She was in the house the whole time. James, it's uh, it's okay. Um, he's just doing his job. Um, yeah. Uh, do you mind if we drive there? Well, we can follow you. Uh, you know what? How about you ride with me, James? You you feel uh, feel free to follow us if you want. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, okay. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll just uh, I'll follow you. Clara will get in the car. Okay. And yeah, you, you drive down to the police station. Uh, you're in the front seat of this car. It's not like he's, he hasn't put you in the back. Like you're not handcuffed or anything like that. 
Um, he's not really doing much talking to you, though. He's just kind of... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Clara's okay oh. with not talking. All right. And yeah, eventually you get to the police station and he sits you down at a, a desk. Um, it's kind of a kind of like the the bullpen kind of thing. There's a lot of a lot of desks around. And he goes, "Now I'm going to get an interview room set up for us. You hang here. Someone's going to come by and take your fingerprints." My fingerprints. Mm -hmm. is, We're gonna need you to do a little bit of paperwork. Is James here right now, or was he left in like the public waiting area at this he's, point? He's left in a public waiting area. Um, I'm I'm sorry, but uh, unless you're placing me under arrest, you don't really have the right to take my fingerprints. All right. You are correct. Is there something that I I said that was? Clara Kriegerton, we are placing you under arrest for the murder of Carol Brown. Uh, and he goes through the Miranda rights. <laughs> Clara is just like, wait, wait, <laughs> what? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's pretty much in shock just this whole time. And with uh, that, he actually moves you back into an interrogation room immediately, leaves you in there, and then a little bit later, someone comes in to start taking your fingerprints. Cool, solid. Let me note this down. Uh, Clara gets arrested. And what day is this? Um, this will be, what? Uh, the 10th, yes? Yeah, or no, this is still the 11th, because Matt Jr. showed up this morning went and killed Carol. I went over to check, called, and so yeah, this is all still like the 11th. Uh, yeah, 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 this is the 11th, you're right. Show that. Actually, wait, there's Tiff. No, so, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He shows up regularly on the 11th, yes, okay. I'll get my time like so carol is dead a, a day early is mm -hmm. what it is not not mad june all right um okay, so i should probably put on the calendar this is on the 12th normally when carol dies mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah um da, 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 da. Uh, he, uh, Detective Gardner comes out to you, James, as uh, Clara's getting her fingerprints and filling out some paperwork and whatnot. She's not filling out. People are asking her, you know, names and all those yeah. kind of things. Um, he goes, all right, so James, I'm just uh, here to tell you that we have put Clara under arrest for the murder, murder of uh, Carol. I'm, not, I'm telling you, there's no way she would have been able to do it. Well, there's some discrepancies that have kind of come up. Um, I can't really get into it too much, but we have a strong reason to believe that she, uh, she had a motive for this. And she, her alibi isn't that great. I mean, her, uh, what reason, what alibi? I mean, as far Maybe. as I know, I'm her alibi. And so if you think she's in, in trouble, then you might as well have me back there too. <laughs> There's no need to do that at the moment, James. It hasn't gotten to that yet, but I would like to make sure you know not to leave town. I definitely wasn't already, but... I'm trying to think what would be the possible recourse that James would have at this point. Uh, you know, he would probably be trying to scream about wanting to speak with the chief or something at this point. You know, making a, a scene currently. All right. <laughs> um, roll me some kind of something or another. See if you can talk to the chief. Yeah, I mean... 
Intimidate is probably my best bet here. Okay. Um, and it's only a 15, so you're probably gonna spend the night in the clink, Clara. Oh! <laughs> that's a 15! <laughs> that is a success. Alright. Uh, as you kind of start making a, a fuss about it, um... It's one of those things, you don't even know where you got it, but you just pull up some kind of, like, some some law that you've heard someone mention about, you know, this is what you should do if you're ever arrested kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you just start s saying something about you're going to make a fuss, talk to lawyers, and he's like, well, you know what, let me, let me get you to the chief. You guys can talk about what's going on. Um, we can maybe see about getting some early bail or something like that. You you better. I'll have a lawyer. You know, I'll have the, all the college's lawyers down here <laughs> next thing tomorrow morning. Going straight to the mayor. <laughs> all right. He he he. You know, kind of hears you out for a little bit, and he takes you uh, to uh, a separate interview room. Uh, where he goes, and the the chief of police will be in here with you shortly. Uh, and yeah kind of walks out and walks over to the room Clara is in. All right. Uh, Clara? Yes? So, it's not looking great for you. I, I don't understand. What evidence do you have that would even... Why would I want to hurt Carol? Well, we believe that uh, you see her as something of a rival for James' affections. Uh, she has had some conversations with her sister about this. Oh, I'm sorry, about me and, 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 oh, I'm sorry, can you clarify? I'm being pretty clear here, Clara. She thinks that I have feelings for James? She said it was pretty... She told her sister it's pretty clear you were unhappy with her advances towards him. Well, I, it's just... the I, It was just... The, the, like, the, the only thing I was uncomfortable with was the brazenness, but that's... She is her own person, and she can do... I would never hurt her. I can't hurt anyone. Mm-hmm. Um... There's also the whole thing of it was it seems yesterday you were seen causing a bit of a commotion uh, downtown. Oh, you're muted. Yes. Um... Yes, that that is something that I actually don't. Um, uh, I've been doing a lot of research into um, occult and um, uh, supernatural events. Um, I believe I just went a little too hard on the. Oh, she wouldn't say that. I I believe that I just went a little too overboard in my research and. Um, didn't really sleep and uh so it must have boiled over that that's not something that has ever happened to me before or i usually keep to myself i'm not capable of doing this mm -hmm. well some know. some witnesses say you were you were yelling things about having become death and things like that uh that you should be, you know, worshipped and things of this nature. <laughs> LB can't argue this <laughs> that did happen. Um, yes, well, uh, a lot of occult and supernatural uh, instances take place around uh, both death and godlyhood and uh, you know, I, I, I am a, an astrology professor and a lot of the stories have to do with those things. I Probably just overworked myself. Okay. If you so to talk to someone, a professor, a psychiatrist, 
I can mm-hmm. do this. I know a few. Mm-hmm. So you've you've been you've been looking into the occult. Tell me a little bit about the occult. There's a uh, how much uh, like sacrifice and things like that oh, are involved um, in the occult, human well, specifically. Not necessarily a lot. Usually, the sacrifices come from uh, ritualistic um, tribes. Um, they believed that the uh, the gods required these things but um i mean those those were debunked obviously years ago and uh, no tribes have sacrificed in many years mm-hmm. um all right so you've you've been reading a lot about the occult you you're stressed out you know carol's carol's moving in on james and you have what a psychotic break well, and I, this is why you killed carol i i didn't i have not no i there is no way that i could kill carol how would i do it and how would i take her I, look at me i couldn't move anything let alone a human body you'd be surprised what people can do clara well, I, uh, I would like you to make some kind of charm or persuade or something of that nature to improve your situation, let's say. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're, D- David, you've done this very well because there's not a lot I can say. <laughs> it's like, yes, I did do these things. However, um, I, the, the only thing I have is psychology is to psychoanalyze my way out of this. Uh yeah Unless yeah go, you can roll that <laughs> no well if you want to get it if you want to escape you can maybe uh, give me a give me a give me the psychoanalogy and, and uh we will see what it does for you wait oh shit i thought i clicked it twice it's a 96 out of 50 okay that's not a critical failure oh boy um because you are at a 50 yeah so if you were below a 50 it would have been and just for the folks at home to make matters worse she accidentally clicked it I twice know. and the second one was a 50 so a success uh-huh. i mean you can push it if you want to i'm not gonna let the second one go since you already know the no, result yeah, yeah. of it yeah um i mean it's a 50 50 shot it's really like this isn't like a oh I rolled a twenty and it's a fifteen it's so close it's not how it works. Yeah, I mean, how much worse can your situation get at this that's, point? Well, that's fair. Uh, yes, I will push it. Uh, Clara will, and I'm not this intelligent, but Clara will start to quote, um, some psychology, uh, papers or uh, like things about like people who overwork and how it's not necessarily a uh you know a precursor to having a psychotic break if you know or like maybe insomnia and what it brings a person's mind to okay okay mm-hmm. all right i'm gonna click it again don't fuck with me roll 20 oh all right <laughs> it's a 40 out of 50 we're good All right. Um, all right. So this, you're saying this kind of behavior wouldn't necessarily lead itself towards murder. No, and usually it is not. It's not correlated with violence at all. Usually, it's just a breakdown of brain function and then sleep. And that's okay. what I did. I took a nap. Right? I think I took a nap. Did I take a nap? After your ranting remember. and raving in the town? For five so. hours. <laughs> was that this morning or was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Been yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. I, yes, I slept for a very long time. <laughs> All right. So you're not feeling like that anymore? No, absolutely not. Okay. So help me understand that. All right, why would why would Carol feel the 
the need to tell her sister about this. Well, from a, from being her friend, I know that she is interested in settling down eventually. She is looking for a strong person and objectively, James is a capable man. He is intelligent and he is uh, good with his tools and and with fixing things around the house he would be a, a good fit for someone who was looking for one and and me being a woman who lives alone and and then invites a man into her house it seems it could be seen that I was looking for more than just a roommate and it is good to have a companion but I I at this point in my life, I'm not ready for that sort of relationship. And I don't even know what I would do to pursue a relationship like that. I'm not bold enough for those things. Uh, give me a... I think this is going to be a persuade. Bah, okay. All right. God, it's soon I'll get better at this. Um... LB is better at it than Clara is. Persuade. Uh, fucking. Nope. All right. <laughs> I have a 10, by the way. Everyone, a 10 out of 100. I'm not the talker. Okay. I'm not either. I also have a 10 persuade. We didn't plan this well. There's no talkers. We didn't think All we'd right. have to be persuading so much. Anyways. Yes. All right. Well, that's all very interesting stuff, but what I can tell you is I'm not buying it, Clara. I think it's pretty clear you're interested in James. I think it's pretty clear you're upset with his actions. It just doesn't make... I w well, if you... I am not capable of something like that. I can't even take a book out of the library without checking it out. I I don't know what else to say. Just... I would say that you've been acting very unusual for yourself the past few days. And also, do I have it correct that you, upon meeting Dr. Miller, uh, slapped him? I knew this was going to come up. Um, yes. Uh, they... Did you meet them? I did. Um, did he shake your hand vigorously for 30 seconds while repeating your name? He did. That, for someone who is um, not very socially uh, yeah. good, um, I... It's something that startled me, and I didn't know how to react to it. So when it was done, you slapped him? Yes. You were I so did. startled when he finished shaking your hand, you slapped him. The whole thing made me very uncomfortable. Officer I'm not saying it shouldn't make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Just saying that escalates pretty quick. I, I think it shows that you're a pretty tightly wound person, Clara. I that I can't argue with that. I am I am very structured. And when you met the wife, you shoved her out the door and slammed it. Again, I was very uncomfortable. Hence okay. why I did not let the boy in the house. Yeah, yeah. So about that. You and James really put me onto the Millers pretty quick. I'm sorry? Both you and James. I asked you about what was going on. You both started talking about the Millers. Oh, um, well, they're, they're new to the neighborhood is all. And mm. that's they moved in within the last couple of days. So it's the only thing mm -hmm. that's changed. Also, one could argue that they would have the least motive to kill one of their neighbors as they don't know anyone yet. 
hence why I did not say that they murdered someone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, anyways, we are going to hold you for a little while here. We're going to take some prints down at her house. Are we going to find your fingerprints anywhere? At Clara's house? You're Clara. At, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at my house, of course. <laughs> At Carol's house? Yes. I, I mean, you'll find her prints at my house as well. She came over the other day to... Um, <laughs> Claire thinks for a second if that was in this timeline. Uh, to uh, She was teaching me about uh, a cocktail that, she, that I was going to make for uh, Mrs. Miller. Yeah, that that was would... this timeline. Well, it would have technically been in this timeline. It would have been between... No, it's... Well, between Dr. Miller and... Samantha killing us because you were making the cocktails for Samantha and that's you know that led to Samantha killing us mm, but, right, but that, that was, was after, after you met, met her. her yeah okay which is the reset okay never mind okay but Carol yeah we we she's been over to my house and I've been over to her house many times I you can I think it's can I have my phone call, please? I think it's time that I speak to a lawyer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's not really a thing, by the way. You can, uh, you can just let you call folks, right? You don't, you're not limited to one phone call. Well, oh, okay. Sorry, I uh, watched Murder, She Wrote. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. None of that stuff's really very realistic. All right, so yeah, you want a lawyer, we can... Uh, do you have any lawyer's names? Do you need a phone book? Uh, do you okay. need us to get you a lawyer? Just kidding. That uh, did not come out yet. Um, I, I, uh, yes, please. Phone book. All right. Uh, we'll have a. We'll get you into a room with a phone, and we'll get you a phone book. Thank you. All right. Uh, James, you're kind of sitting in another room, and the, the chief of police. I wasn't expecting to have him i don't think i have a handout for him at the moment nope all right yeah the chief of police comes in mm -hmm. kind of sits down and goes all right so uh mr mccoy right yes that's me all right what what can i do for you i uh, my roommate my good friend is being held on a murder that she could not possibly have committed and i just think it speaks to the ineptitude of the detectives and the police working on the case that they are so quick to take her into custody when it is so blatantly obvious that she could not have done this uh roll me and persuade please with my 10 oh boy 65 all right as well you know uh mr mccoy it's it's not so obvious that she didn't commit the murders i know that uh you don't think she could have gotten out of the house without your noticing but we've kind of we've been over there you don't from where you're cleaning the gutters you don't have a strong look at the the back of the house and there's alleys and stuff she didn't have to enter through the front door of, of Carol's. I mean, no argument. The timeline's pretty, pretty close. I think James is torn between thinking over the possibility, not that he believes Scar could actually do it, but just like, would it be possible for someone like, is it feasible enough that the he can see why the police think that and just being like, well, clearly, you know, if the chief isn't going to listen, then there's nothing I can do right here and right now anymore. So it's just kind of sitting there silently fuming, but is not pressing the point much further. All right. Well... Um, yeah, so we're going to hold her for the night. Uh, 
I think it's probably pretty likely she'll be uh, released on bail in the morning. We're not going to make a big fuss about this. We're not going to talk to the press about any of this stuff yet. Uh, so you don't go doing it either and keep your uh, friend's name out of the news. Hmm? Okay. So when should I be by tomorrow morning to pick her up? Um, it's going to be probably down at the courthouse and say we'd have her in there. I can pick her up at, at lunch. All right. Well, I uh, will be there then. All right. And I think we'd just go over the... Because Alex doesn't know, but, you know, if James would have to post the bail ahead of time or if that's something that can be done then and there, but basically goes over the what needs to be done to post her bail. Okay, yeah, the bail will be set tomorrow at, uh, during court, and so you'll know there. Um, if you post it kind of then and there, you'll, you know, you'll be set. And, you know, there's some, because there's, you know, there's bond agencies just down the street if you need anything like that. Right. Well, what's that's the bail set at? You don't we'll find know. out tomorrow. Judge will do it tomorrow. Uh, is is it possible for me to talk to her, leave her a message at least before I go home? No. All right. Okay. And James. I would suggest, if I were you, finding a hotel in town. Okay. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, the house it seems perfectly fine. How? Uh, well, it's kind of twofold. If you're innocent in all this, James, um, and Clara isn't, uh, we think it's possible that her motives could involve you and you could be in danger. Um, also, staying there with her, you two are the only ones that hear the screams. You both have seen Carol pretty recently. You know, you could start to look like a co-conspirator to some folks. Okay. Sure. Fine, I'll find a hotel. In our monologue, just because it will make Clara look the least guilty if he just goes along with this suggestion. But he still trusts that he is not in danger if he goes back. But Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll look for one next to the courthouse or near the courthouse, I guess. And, uh, you know, if you know of any friends or family or anything like that that she has that need to be contacted about this or feel like they need to contact about this, you can go ahead and do so. We're going to give her an opportunity to do that as well. Um, but, you know, sometimes people like hearing from more than one source. So. All right. Do you know if she has any, any family? Does James know if she has any family? Uh. Uh, he would know. Let me see. She's from New York. Uh, she probably is still in contact with her parents. Okay. She's um, an only child, though. <laughs> right. Yeah, just her parents. Um, and they must at least know that James is living with her, right? Or is that something she's kept hush hush? <laughs> Uh, no, they probably know. She probably got a talking to from her mom about living with a strange man. Uh, uh, Mrs. But so Mr. Cr Jones is basically family, too. Okay. Well, not looking forward to Mrs. Kriegerton somehow blaming me for all of this. But right. <laughs> I, can, I can give them a call. Should probably do that before it gets too much later over in New York. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, uh, he gives you a card and goes, 
call and let us know the hotel you're staying at, the room, in case we need to talk to you any more than that, or than we already have. Um, and yeah, I'm sure we'll be talking again. Certainly tomorrow. All right, and he let you go. Uh, Clara, you're given a phone book. Uh, has some names of, of lawyers in it. Are you I'm trying to think? <laughs> Late enough in the evening, you're probably going to have to leave messages. Yeah. Um, is there, is, does uh, the college, have we named this college? Uh, yes. Um, one of the handouts here. Uh, notable locations. Silver Falls A&M University. Um, do, do they have a law program? Uh, yeah, probably. Do I know any other professors who were slash are lawyers? If you want to write one into known contacts, you can. Sure, yeah. That way I can, like, either, it doesn't have to be someone who is currently practicing, but someone who might know someone who's practicing. Okay. All right, so with that, you can probably call a home number if you know their name. Yes, it is, um, um, no, that's not a real name. Frank. Well, speak Frank. of names, Frank. Yeah, favorite. Yeah, um, Horseman. Frank Horseman? Frank Horseman. You okay. want me to call the names? This is what you get. All right. It's Kaiser Soze, ain't it? <laughs> Frank Horseman Esquire. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes. An actual Esquire. Ha ha. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So you, you call Frank Horseman. Uh, he tells you basically to shut up and not say anything else to the cops at yeah. all. Yeah. Okay. I, I won't. Um, Will you be able to come down tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely I can. Uh, I'll be down there first thing in the morning. Because um, do you want to tell me? And he, he basically asked for all the specifics. He's yeah. like, what do you want to tell me about what's going on? Yeah, she'll, she'll tell him, not everything, but <laughs> about like her breakdown and stuff. And basically the exact lie that she told <laughs> about <laughs> having worked too hard and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, she'll she'll walk him through the paces a little bit. Okay, and he's like, "All right, all right, um, we can do that for sure." And I think that gives us a pretty strong reason to get you out on medical grounds. Um, okay. We, you know, depends on how it goes. We may have to look into checking you into a facility uh, for a few weeks. Okay. Um. I. I, I don't think I mean, do you think that will exacerbate the situation or make them think that do, do you think i should just be checked out first well it's going to depend on how it goes down i'm just telling i'm preparing you for the possibilities here it's possible that the judge remands you or releases you on bail uh, in the condition that you go to a facility like this okay okay uh yeah yeah i just can't believe this is happening mm -hmm. Um, Sarah, uh, so sorry, Clara. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll get, we'll get going on this as, as quick as we can here. Thank you. Hang up. Like Clara and her brain, this doesn't make any sense. Like how, what, 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 what do they think I did with a body? And then just came home all cleaned up. Like there's blood everywhere. I can't even fucking lift the groceries inside. Like mm -hmm. I can lift my body weight because I'm 80 pounds soaking wet. Mm -hmm. 
And as you know, you're taken back to uh, a holding cell for the night. They do a little bit more of a thorough uh, physical examination to make sure there's no wounds on you or anything like that. Um, they catalog your stuff, make sure there's no blood on it, things like that. Um, James, you're going to a hotel. Do you run by the house to get any of your stuff first? Um, I mean, probably just like a change of clothes or two, uh, including some for Clara, being optimistic that she'll get out. Um, hesitates for a minute as he... He just, you know, is faced with the underwear drawer, just like hastily opens it and grabs like a couple things without really looking too much. All right. Uh, as you're kind of there grabbing your stuff, um, uh, a police car kind of pulls up and a couple of officers knock at the front door. Uh, God go to answer it all right um they kind of put a piece of paper in your hand um say that they have you know a search warrant for the premises and... i assume it looks legit enough huh i assume it looks legit enough yeah it does and they kind of you know they kind of push past you um, a couple more kind of showing up and uh, they got a, you know, a few guys. It's not a big thing. They probably got like six or eight guys out here going through the house. Uh, they do check the things you're taking from the house before mm -hmm. you're allowed to leave. Uh, but, you know, it all checks out. None of, none of it's like a, you know, bloody murder dress or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, yeah you're allowed to leave. Yeah, I mean, James doesn't feel, you know, asks the clarifying question, like, do I wait until you leave so I can lock up again? Or if he's just um, expected to just go and they'll handle it somehow? So if you, hmm. well, we're going to have cop, we're going to have a car out here all night. If you don't want to stay to lock up, um, feel free to leave. Um, And you can come back, you know, lock up in the morning or something like that. We're going to be here for, you know, several hours. At least he'll, uh, you know, pull out the phone book at home and look for a hotel by the courthouse before calling and making arrangements. And, you know, I doubt that's going to take longer than they will be uh, searching. But at the very least, he does that before heading out. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you find a hotel easily enough. Next morning rolls around. You're taken to the courthouse. Clara, you meet your lawyer um, downstairs before mm. uh, he kind of you know briefs you real quick on what he's kind of thinking, and um. James, I assume you're you're there. You you know you can hear the docket for the day, uh, and you can be there specifically for when her mm -hmm. the little bail hearing is set. Yep. And all right, I'm going to do a roll for the lawyer to see how it goes. He does pretty well. Uh, I'm going to want a luck home. roll from Clara, however. That's an extreme success, Ooh. Chad. Bow, 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 bow. All right. Uh, yeah, so it goes really well. Um, the lawyer manages to kind of avoid the mental health topic as a whole. And just focuses on that, you know, this, you know, this doesn't really mean anything. This doesn't really have anything. This is circumstantial evidence at best. 
really they should have never arrested his client in the first place this is ridiculous and you know blah 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 does all those things um and uh yeah the, the judge seems to agree and has you released um without bail uh don't need to do anything no conditions you're just good to go just stick around Um, any reason to stick around or no no i'm sorry like don't leave town yeah, yeah. you don't, don't get absolved town. of the crime because there's no <laughs> yeah but... yeah yeah you're still you've still been arrested uh for it um the they haven't pressed charges against you uh-huh. yet um they just arrested me without charging me <laughs> yeah they have like 48 hours to charge you that's true all right Technically, they could have just held you the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But I said, no, don't take my fingerprints. Yeah. You're not arresting me. You, <laughs> uh, yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. And yeah, James uh, yes. got enough of a fuss in to, to kind of get this going. And you got a lawyer and all the, those yeah. things. So, yeah. all right. Uh, well, thank Frank very profusely. And, uh, you know, I, I promise that I'll pay you for your time and hopefully it doesn't go beyond this and you know I owe you so many coffees all right um while you all are in the courthouse uh I would like some listen checks from you if you would not mind okay I don't mark anything with luck right no your luck can't go up (laughs) (laughs) But also, it can't go down. Yeah, nothing makes it go down. So, all right. Listen, that's a failure. Seventy-two versus thirty. All right. You know, honestly, I wish they would put them all in alphabetical order and not with this stuff. Because yeah. Okay, listen. Let's go. Twenty-four oh. Oh. oh, so close. All right. Yeah. Uh, you you get back, James. Are you going back to your hotel or? Um, I think would offer. You know, tell Claire about this. Like I brought a change of your clothes to oh. the hotel just in case if you want to do that before going back. Uh, um, I just kind of want to get home. Um, and take a shower. Uh, right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Do I come off as a murdering type? No. I mean, that it's just such a ridiculous question. Um, I, I know, I'm sorry. I just think th- this whole premise of, of me killing someone because I have feelings for you is, is, is absurd. Right. Um, yeah, of course. The, the whole premise. Um, they did, uh, one of the reasons they suggested I get the hotel was, uh, in, well, they might even think I should still be in the hotel, but they think that, uh, you know, if this is about you having jilted feelings for me, that I'd be in danger to stay under your roof. Well, I mean, you and I know what the real danger is. Right, but... But if you... If you feel like you need to stay at the hotel longer, I, I completely understand. If we, I mean, I, we have a lot that we need to think about right now, and it seems that you know, I, I, I wouldn't want to complicate things anymore. I mean, that's being arrested is, uh, in, uh, I, I can't even, I just can't. It's, it's, a, it's been a lot. Um, surprisingly, this is weirder than the other things. Yeah. Which is even weirder. Yeah. Um, yeah, but no, you're right. I, we know what the real danger is. Um, so yeah, we can, you know, it doesn't make sense for us to be, uh, for me to be at the hotel when everything's happening back in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's, um, hmm. 
suspected of murder. I, I don't, I know. <laughs> she kind of just like looks out the window. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you make it back uh, to the house. The police seem to have cleared out. Um, there the is house no is car mess. there anymore. Hmm? There is no police car out there anymore. There is a police car out there. Okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any police out there. Okay, seeing Why that. Why are the police here? They they came with a search warrant, um, and I didn't actually lock up when I left because they were going to take yeah. hours. So yeah, we, yeah. Well, I, I hope they didn't break anything. We'll have to see, but I'm more worried about what our neighbors might have done if they knew that the house was open. Yeah. Oh, so. Mr. Jones. Oh, I should call him. Right. Uh, we didn't actually do it, but uh, James would have called certainly Clara's parents um, mm -hmm. and probably uh, I know, I'll just roll a d100 if it's above if it's below 50, he call, you thought to call uh, Mr. Jones. Okay, yeah, that's beneath 50, so he also would have called him and let her let him know what happened. I mean, yeah, I called Mr. Jones, I called your parents. That was fun. You called my parents? The, the chief mentioned that they would probably be calling your parents as well because they're your family and uh okay. thought it would be good for them to hear not just you know this is the silver falls pd yeah um how did they take it i don't think i have ever heard your mother swear so much mostly at I... me they she somehow said this was my, this was my fault. Thanks, Mom. I mean, it was in in some way it was almost endearing. I mean, she very clearly cares for you a lot, but uh, I'm sorry. She she can be a lot. It's uh, it's quite all right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll call them when we get home. Or when we go inside. Yep. All right. Yeah, you walk in, and the place is a mess. They, they clearly were not too careful uh, in their search. Good. You find little light. You find the fingerprint dust everywhere. Um... going to be a whole thing and uh you hear uh as you're kind of cleaning up a little bit you hear a car kind of uh squeal into the neighborhood like it's driving real fast and kind of screech to a halt uh a car door slam i'm gonna go to the window and see what's up yeah <laughs> we uh, a young woman is running from the car to your house uh, up to the door. Uh, recognize? She, you don't, you don't recognize her. She sees you though and kind of waves and gets up to the door. Like, like friendly waves? Yeah. Okay. She's uh, she looks to be a, a few years younger than than you, uh, Clara. Okay. Um, Clara will like nudge James towards the door <laughs> and hide behind him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and open the door a little bit. Uh, not like fully, just like you know. Who are you? But not like fully open and like, oh, come on in. Just uh, hey, uh, hi. Uh, can we help you? Uh, James. That's me. Yep. Yeah, I'm here to see Clara. Right. Um, 
Who are you? I'm Sarah. James, stop playing around. And she kind of starts trying to push you, push past you. Does the name ring any bells? Uh, do you know any Sarahs? I know a Sarah in real life. <laughs> in the game, I don't think so. And so, you know, gonna no. attempt to resist her pushing past and just be like, um, we've had a, a bit of a rough day recently. Can you're gonna have to be a little clearer about what's going on. Okay. Uh, what is Wow. She is going to do an opposed strength check to try and force the door open. Uh, what's your strength, James? Oh, it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's like 80. Yep, 80. Okay, I think she's got to roll an extreme success oh boy no no she does not <laughs> roll an extreme success so uh she kind of really like leans her shoulder into the door and kind of really tries to push it open she goes james this is not funny let me in right now wait, i know wait, we wait. haven't met you should have started with that definitely but kind of looking uh, over her shoulder at clara um she clara peeks her head out do I recognize this girl? Uh, nope. Hi. Oh my god. Clara, would you tell James, open the flipping door, all right? Does she seem genuine? Yeah. Well, you can roll me a, psych a psychology roll if you really want to discern love, that. I would love to do that. <laughs> nope. Mm, hard to uh, tell, but you think so. Uh, She's clearly upset. Yeah, uh, James, why don't you let her in? Just still kind of holding the door closed, kind of whispering to uh, Clara. Is, is this Carol's sister, maybe? I don't think so. She seems like she thinks she knows me. She might be one of my old students. All right. Uh, please, come in, Sarah. Sarah. All right, she kind of she goes, this is what's with the, the third degree. When mom told me you got arrested, I flew down here. I don't really like that. Uh, I, you know, I wasn't expecting this. I'll tell you that. Uh-huh. Oh, um, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. It's been a very weird couple of days. Um, I'm I'm sorry you had to fly down here like that. Um, you're um. Uh, did you get? Did you rent a car from the airport? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you would have called, I would have. Well, I was at. Court you were in jail. Morning. Who was I going to yeah. call? Mm -hmm. Well, true. Okay. Um, that's fair. Uh, do you do you? Are you going to stay? I mean, if it's all right i mean, i assumed you would want me to stay with you yes of course absolutely you'd want why some don't... emotional support yeah. yes yeah i'm sorry i'm just why don't you bring your stuff to the bedroom and and i'll um i'll make some tea for us i think just okay. behind sarah this whole time james has just been doing like big old bug i was like sister uh, Clara wants to see if uh, Sarah knows where she's going in the house. Okay. Uh, yeah, she goes and gets her stuff, and she, as you kind of let her in, she says, oh my yeah. god, they just tore this place apart. Mm -hmm. And she goes, um, I haven't been here since James moved in. Um, which bedroom is he in? The one at the top right of the stairs. Okay. And she goes in and goes into a separate guest bedroom. Clara will like move into the kitchen like shoving James in front of her I have no idea who that is do I have a sister now is this is the timeline has it been shifted so much that I now have a sister why do I have no pictures of her she like looks around to see if any of the pictures have changed uh, give me a spot hidden oh boy <laughs> what 
This th- I feel like this is weirder than getting arrested, but it's kind of not. Nope. That's 89. Nope. <laughs> uh, 35. Also a failure, 74 versus 38. I mean, I guess I... All right. Because I don't know if we had this conversation on stream at any point, but when David was explaining some of the things of the system to us, he mentioned that, like, as we lose sanity, we might start having our backstories changed and things like that. Right. So, uh, oh my. maybe that's what's happening. Um, all right. So, there's, there's not, like, an immediate... Uh, you can't immediately tell as the place is kind of torn apart. Um, but I will say that as you like put stuff back together over the next few hours, you could have a much better understanding. Uh, I'm not, I won't make you roll for that. But uh, you don't know yet if any of the pictures have changed. Right. I think that uh, Clara will just play along um, as much as possible. Uh, and And like vague statements about things like trying to find out like where she lives mm-hmm. and what their relationship is <laughs> and maybe uh, I, this might be a thing uh she's going to uh see if she can get james or maybe if she can like check her license to see if she is actually who she says she is. Okay. How are you getting her license? I assume that uh, we uh, the easiest way to be would be for us to go uh, get some wine because it's been a stressful day to R2 and in the checkout they will require to see ID. And you're gonna go with her and be like buy buy me some wine please well i mean at least where i come from they, they check everyone's id mm. look i also grew up in a college town but this is a college town so i was on 1980 the i don't remember fair. what the drinking age even was my ID. <laughs> okay yeah. okay no never mind that is a bad that is that is not an 80s thing uh maybe sneaking into her wallet or like it'd be easy to just like well, how how old it do i find out how old she is you don't know she looks younger than you but not that much younger she's not like a teenager or anything yeah well the like it a thing to do would be to ask like oh i haven't seen your new uh your new license id mine looked really crappy last time like just trying to like have a normal conversation about it but other than like going in there and stealing it, that's all I got. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll, we'll it's nine o'clock. We'll let you think about it mm-hmm. as we go on. But for now, you are kind of spiraling, trying to figure out exactly how you're going to discern the identity of this person who appears to be your sister. And we'll pick it up there next time. <laughs> Boy. Oh boy. Well, thank you everyone for joining us, uh, whether you're here live on Twitch or watching in the future on YouTube, which is a great place to check out all our other shows in case you don't catch our things live. Um, Let's see, follow us on the socials so you can see our VODs and know when we're doing stuff and things. Uh, Some of that stuff and things is we have merch, which you should get uh, a lot of You know, you can see some of us wearing it on some of our other shows on the channel. Uh, The next scheduled stream for this channel is Thursday at 8 Eastern for some D&D 5e in Wild Space. That game is coming to its close. Then we'll have, you know, Friday Neon Souls, Saturday, uh, Saturday Night Star Power. Lots of our shows are winding up or have wrapped up, Uh, so... Definitely keep an eye peeled to what we are doing with those time slots going forward. We will definitely still have things. Just what's happening in those uh, places will be uh, changing a little bit. So you'll want to keep apprised of that. And again, the best way to do that is follow our Twitter, join our Discord where we talk about stuff, post memes, uh, cry about the state of the world. You know, the usual. Um, 
for Tabletop Tuesday, as I said before. I'll probably know Masks game next Tuesday, uh, and we'll let you know whether we decide to do some other kind of one-shot or something, or if we just take the night off. I mean, who doesn't like taking a break every now and then? But I think that is everything for us. So unless either of you have things you would like to plug or discuss before we end for the evening. All right. Well, in that case, thank you for joining us. Thank you, David, for running the game. Thank you, LB, for getting arrested and causing all that drama. And until next time, good game and good night, Internet.